definitions and difference. Most of business law deals with property. There are actually two different types of property, personal property and real property. This lesson explains the difference between these two types of property. Property. There are two types of property. In legal terms, all property will be classified as either personal property and real property. This distinction between types of property comes from English common law, but our modern laws continue to distinguish between the two. This type of property is treated differently under the law. There are many different types of laws that specifically pertain to personal property, and many other types of law that pertain specifically to real property. Personal property is movable property. Is anything that can be subject to ownership except land. Real property is immovable property. It's land and anything attached to the land. Normally, a piece of property can be easily classified as either personal property or real property. The difference between the two is usually fairly straightforward. However, sometimes it's a little harder to categorize property. Personal property. Personal property includes possessions of really any kind as long as those possessions are movable and owned by someone. Personal property is an effect to or associated with land. Those movable items are sometimes known as chattel. The law regarding chattel includes those law covering possession, gift, lost property, abandoned property, and stolen property. It's helpful to note that personal property includes both tangible and intangible items. A tangible item is an item that can be felt or touched. For business, tangible personal property includes items the business owns such as 1. Office furniture 2. Business equipment 3. Business vehicles 4. Business goods An intangible item is simply an item that can be felt or touched. For business intangible, personal property includes items the business owns such as 1. Stocks 2. Bones 3. Intellectual property 4. Money The law on real property Real property law covers many different topics related to land ownership and the use of the land. Some of the ways ownership rights can be limited are by government regulation relating to zoning, environmental conditions, fair housing, and other state and local laws. Ownership right can also be voluntarily limited or shared by agreement such as leases, easement, and air right conveyances. The transfers of ownership is covered by real property law as is the permitted use of property by non-owners. Transfer can be voluntary or involuntary. A voluntary transfer can be done by a sale of the property or upon that of the owner through a will or the intestacy laws. Involuntary transfer may result from foreclosures, adverse positions, and eminent domain. The right to use real property is typically accomplished by leasing, also concessions and leases of the right to use property are also possible. There are obligations and duties that come with ownership of real property. For instance, property owners must pay state and local property taxes. If a property owner fails to pay taxes, the property can be sold by the municipality to pay the taxes owed. Property owners also must keep their property in a reasonable, safe condition. Personal property. Personal property is a class of property that can include any asset other than real estate. 
the distinguishing feature between personal property and real estate or real property is that personal property is movable that is it isn't fixed permanently to one particular location real property such as land or most kinds of buildings is not movable Understanding personal property. Personal property is also known as movable property, movables and settles. Because it is viewed as an asset, it may be taken into consideration by a lender when someone applies for a mortgage or other loan. Just as some loans, mortgage, for example, are secured by real property, such as a house, some loans are secured by personal property. Personal property also comes into play when people insure their homes. A homeowner's insurance policy typically covers not just the physical dwelling but also the owner's personal property. Often referred to as the home's contents, most homeowner's policies base the value of the police holders personal property on a percentage of the dwelling's value typically 50% to 70% homeowners policy holders can typically choose between two options for conferring their personal property replacement value or actual cash value if the policy provides for replacement value, the insurer would be obligated to replace a destroyed item with a similar new item. With actual cash value, the insurer is only expected to pay what the item was worth after taking depreciation into account. In the event that their personal property is destroyed, so policy holders must file a claim with their insurance company describing what they lost. For that reason, homeowners are well advised to make an inventory of their personal property, ideally with photos and receipts, and store it safely off premise just in case it's ever needed. Homeowners' policies also limit coverage for certain types of personal property, such as jewelry and computers. Things you should remember about personal property and real property. Anything that can be legal owned may be called property. All property can be grouped into two main categories, real property and personal property. Personal property can be further classified as chattels and intangibles. One reason to know this categories is simply to understand what other property lawyers are talking about. Of course, knowing the categories can also help you decide which rules should apply to a particular item of property and which remedies are available for violations and property rights. Real property, land and buildings. Real property describes land and things that are attached to the land, which is why land is sometimes called real estate or reality. Even though wood, steel, and other buildings' materials are in land themselves, when they are built into structures attached to the land, they are become real property too. Trees and other plants naturally growing on the land are also part of the real property. But plants that require regular human cultivation and labor, such as grains and vegetables, sometimes are treated as part of the real property. Personal property. Personal property is all property that isn't real property. There is a big category. It can be further divided into two subgroups, chattels and intangibles. Personal property, chattels. The term chattel sometimes refers to all kinds of personal property, but often it refers only to tangible personal property, 
such as nose floats and tiny clippers, as opposed to intangible property. A chattel, such as a furnace, can be a face to land and become part of the real property, such chattels and coal fixtures. However, fixtures may retain their quality as separate personal property for certain purpose. Personal property, intangibles. Intangibles are all kinds of personal property that are intangible. They can be seen or touched. So you can say this kind of property doesn't involve a thing at all. It involves only a legal right. The mere existence of such a category of property is a reminder that in the law, property most accurately refers to legal right, not to things. A person can own all sorts of intangible things, including the following 1. Bank accounts 2. Franchises and license 3. Insurance policies 4. Intellectual property such as patents, copyright, and trademarks 5. Stocks, bonds, promissory notes, and similar documents that are in themselves valuable but merely represent intangible rights. Currency is sometimes treated as an intangible. Property rights, things that can be owned. Some things can be owned at all and therefore can be preferred property. Some of the things, such as light, air, and the high seas, can be owned because they are naturally same communal. Other things, such as rivers and coastal waters, can be owned because they belong to the public, and some things can be owned because they are illegal, like heroin.